Hi, so I wanted to uh, record a video about the um, full spectrum lawyer um, US Army version that is uh, if you buy it in the store I bought it on the online um, at the Microsoft store so I didn't get a physical physical copy but a digital copy and um, the US Army version is definitely um, uh, part of that version and you have to go to um, the cheat codes and then put a cheat code in that you can find online and then you'll find the original army version of this game uh, that the US um, Army thought they were going to train their soldiers with so you know the original full spectrum warrior game is you know cool enough but um, if you want to get into the real stuff that the US Army was going to use this 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 is it so um, there's pretty much no videos online about um, this version of the game which um, I actually was looking for when I was gonna buy this one I bought it for like two euros in the end um, but <laughs> still I wanted to see you know um, kind of the details of this game so um, you have here a couple of missions um, one of the missions actually has you not you know shoot anyone um, and what I wanted to show was all the mission options so let's see um, right map settings so you can change the op for presence uh, aggression civilian presence but one thing I thought was kind of cool was the wind direction because um, I couldn't find any other way to finish the first mission but by using a smoke grenade and um, I can imagine that if the wind direction is a different way or if it's the wind speed is higher um, you might not be able to use the smoke grenade or use the same route to uh, take uh, to get rid of this machine gun so that's kind of a cool thing actually I don't know what this is uh, <laughs> a little bit of the briefing in the game you're gonna have a map that looks a lot like this one um, and another thing here report interval um, which um, you have to every you know at five or ten minutes whatever you choose give a report of what's going on which is <laughs> pretty cool I think I mean and if you're too late they tell you that you're too late but um, uh, I, I, other than that I don't know if there's you know there's no benefit or you know penalty for not sending this report um, I guess putting an injury but it is kind of a cool little thing to to be able to send this report and you have to uh, I think I'm gonna try and show it in a little bit but which sectors are um, um, uh, free of hostiles and uh, that kind of stuff. So that's kind of cool. Right, the briefing. And the squad settings, I haven't experimented too much with um, being, you know, an untrained or practice or anything. I've only played untrained. Um, and I have no idea what this is. I'm going to turn it on now. But later, I think that when, when the game is started, you can or maybe at launch. Um, it's a little bit confusing, but you can um, give your guys different weapons. And, and even in the field, you can... They have like a, a little icon of a backpack where you can change your... Um, let's see here. Bravo. To, Move the to the wall. Change the weapons and uh, you know um, mags, etc. So it's very much like the original game. To I made corner. another video doing this mission if you want to see that. Enemy, enemy. But let's see if we can get that. Um, 
Ooh. Oh yeah, and you have someone called a team leader who switches teams if you press the um, right button. Yeah. Here we go. Left button. Report. So you would send a report. And I don't really know how to properly do this. Maybe you can find it online how the real guys do this. But you select, yeah, here, the building numbers, situation, all clear or under fire. It's it's uh, it's just cool if you're kind of like me and you think, well, I'm playing these military, you know, tactical shooters. It's kind of cool to learn how they actually do stuff. And I guess this game is pretty old now, but very old. Things may have changed, but it still gives you an idea how they... Um, they work let's see action advancing so right this like i said is not of much effect i think they updated the graphics um with this game fairly recently that might be the 2020 support thing i'm not sure um here you go reallocate the ruck um Grenadier, etc. See, so I don't really get. Ah, you select Alpha Team, right? And then you can exchange mags or whatever you want. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to give a little bit of an idea what you can do here. And hopefully that can help you get an idea if you would want to get this game and what you can do in this game. All right. I think this was part of the 2020 support because I think if you turn this off, you don't, you don't get this option to, to look at this map and, and survey like that. I, I actually don't even know how to work this. I might come back with another video because as you can see there's a lot that I don't know yet about this. Well, I'm not getting anything here. Uh, so yeah, that was the reallocation. There was another thing I wanted to... Yeah, you can change between the rucks. Oh, okay, there's a longer list. Ah, there we go. So you go right and left and you can change the mags. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the menu and I'm going to show you another thing that I thought was kind of cool. I gotta say, the game sometimes crashes at this point. Okay. Now, a lot of these games, I or these missions, I succeeded in them almost by accident. They were quite hard. Um, now, Election Day is kind of cool because, as far as I know, the only thing you have to do, there's no hostiles, the only thing you have to do is get people to the voting um, office. There we go. Yeah, because there's people harassing the civilians. So we'll have a look at that. But one of the things is that I found out at one point that you can actually enter buildings, and I had no idea that you could do that. So that's a little something that you, I believe, cannot do in the original, you know, the real game that they sold. So I hope I can show that. In this version. Alpha team to the wall. Damn Americans. Or in this mission. Here, damn Americans. So, and as far as damn I know, Americans. I think you kind of Alpha. 
To the wall. I played this a couple times, trying to get mission success, which I did at some point. Ah, so you get this icon comes up. And then you get this cool little thing, and you can tell each of your guys, um, you know, where they're going to stand when they move in, and which direction they're going to be looking. That's that little thing. And again, I have absolutely no experience with how this is supposed to be done. Let's see. So I'm just going to do something here. Prepare to breach. There you go. Oh, I hope I didn't mess it up now. Pigs. Help, America! Go, go, go! No, no, help! They might be a bit glitched here. Bravo. Move to the corner. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. We don't want Leave you me here. Alone. Okay, they're going in. Right, all clear. So, you know, it's... And you also get the stairs option here. So again, you have a sort of preparation option where you put them at the stairs. And then the next option, I think... Okay. American pigs. You get the... Oh, okay. I thought you would have the option to say how they're going to enter the room. But in any case, this is something you can do in the game as well. Um, do something else I was going to say. <laughs> oh yeah, that I have never found any hostiles in a uh, uh, in a room before, so I don't know if that would uh, work, you know, have a different different effect or, or you know it changed oh you see that X on the floor there and then it's cleared American anyway so that was something I wanted to show and I hope uh, I could give the people who are still interested in this game a little bit of um, insight into the things you can you could do and uh, oh, here we go reports oh, yeah, no report this time and if you'd want to buy it or um, you know just to know what what it's like so I hope that was um, informative, and um, there's probably going to be very few people watching this video, but in any case, thanks for watching, and uh, I don't upload a lot of stuff, but I uploaded this, so maybe I'll upload more stuff like this if you're interested, of course, you can, uh, you know what to do. Um, I guess I'll say hoo -ah.